Hello guys and happy new year. Welcome to the very first vlog of 2022 where I will be taking you with me to today's party. The You and Me Greenhouse with Lorene and Cecilio, Luca, me, Local Dub and Jensen. And we've also got Dan Marino, Jacob Samuel and Paddy Lee playing in the bar well recited. So, the new year. What an exciting time to be alive. Fingers are all crossed that clubs stay open. If not today, will be the last rave for some time but no matter what happens today, it's gonna to be a good one. Last night, I went for a nice sophisticated meal at a nice restaurant called Australasia. Kept it very tame, ready for today. I actually had food poisoning three days ago, so I've actually not had a beverage since. And before that, I got COVID, but we're not gonna talk about COVID. Um, so it's been a very tame Christmas to say the least. So today is gonna to be, hopefully, an opportunity to release the shackles, as they say. So the plan is it's currently 10.53, which is late when it comes to a day party because the party starts at one. We've got Jensen on one till three, local dub three till five, Luca five till seven, me seven till nine, and Lorraine Celio nine till 11. That's in the greenhouse. Then we've also got the after party in cable. But yeah, back to today. My plan is get a lift to town from my mother who still uh, very generously gives me lifts to my gigs around 1 p.m., I think. Me and Luca are going for some food. I've not seen him for some years. For anyone that doesn't know, Luca actually released my first ever vinyl release on his C double label. And we met back at a Villa After Party in 2017, maybe 2016 when I was like 19 and we ended up playing for two days together, like literally non-stop to this villa party. So yeah, we, we hit off on a very strong point and we've stayed at friends ever since. And we just released a collaborative EP this year on Rich Yarman's label, and I'm really happy to bring him to the party. So we're gonna get some lunch. I couldn't get a table anywhere, so it's looking like a Nando's, cheeky Nando's. Um, and then, I think we'll just head to the party. I mean, I've not seen anyone for two weeks now because of COVID, then my food poisoning. So it's like, it's meant to be the messiest time of year and I've not been getting messy. So it means I've got brain cells there, but we are going to, have to push the body cell limits today because I've not actually had any alcohol. But hey yo, we'll survive. I'm really in the mood. I've got some really good new records. Um, I've just bought a package off Juno, which you are resting on currently, which I'm gonna open in a sec if I can get the camera on a better angle. And yeah, I'm just excited to get amongst it and hopefully get some good footage for this vlog. So basically guys, we've got the Zoom recorder because we want to start recording more sets that you and me. I think live sets are a good one to just record every single one. And the chance of you getting a good one is much higher. I don't mean good set, I just mean a good recording in terms of smooth transitions, no technical difficulties, things like that. As you'd be surprised, the amount of like, needle skips you get. All sorts can happen when you're in the rave. And as always, the bag is fully packed. We've got some nice stuff in there. A bit harder today actually, because the club is going to be dark. So I'm thinking, it's time for some darker shades of electro, just more serious music today. I'm excited to play in a dark room. I'm not sick of day parties, but there was enough day parties last year to last a lifetime. I think just because I want to get out early. Today's a day party, but it's going dark early because it's winter. So I'm excited for some dark nighttime vibes, Gary vibes. So we're at the venue now, guys, and we will give you a quick look inside. So NJ, good? Happy New Year. Happy New Year to the vlog as well. Vlog in. <laughs> You brought the warm weather as well. I know, nice day for it, man. He's going incognito there. How are you doing, man? Great to see you. I know, long time. Good. Uh, we're going this way. That was a good uh, sneaky one. This is where we do the greenhouse. So you come in, we're gonna go Nando's now. Yeah, Dan, you remember Dan? Yeah, so it's just up there and then like downstairs is cable, so. Yeah, Nando's. A friend of mine in Canada has one of those sort of between a home and a bar one. Uh, I think they land about 1 p.m. or 2 p.m. I think they had problems getting on their flight, but they got on in the end. 
Right, Paranays as well, do you want the sauce? Yeah. I mean, you never know. It's got to be now. I think this is the last wave of it, I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. surely. Medium spice today. Medium spice, my stomach can't handle extra hot. Meet the big gents, the one and only. How did the set go, mate? Uh, it went absolutely fantastic. Uh, the first hour of like, people getting in and stuff like that, I was trying to keep it slow, then I kicked it up a notch. I was ma making sure I was um, paying attention to the time and stuff like that because I had, I had certain tunes I wanted to play in mind, like different moments uh, from your uh, fr from when you wanted to, um, from your tutorial on how to. Yeah, like, the video on YouTube. So I did that, and then um, like the last hour, I was just like absolutely going, going for it because I wanted to get everyone absolutely like up and down the scene. You went for it in a way though, wasn't you? You didn't go too hard, you just played nice energetic tunes. No, they, they, they weren't too like um, up, 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 up on your up on your like Uplifted. feet kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like I just um, I just kept it chill, then kept everyone bouncing. I had a couple people uh, messaging me before and saying they're gonna get a uh, the hotel because um, <laughs> you were because uh, because I was on. Yeah. So that's. Um, Good to hear, man. That was a really good thing. So, what was the highlight of 2021 for you? Uh, 2021 was definitely hide and seek. Not for the set, definitely, but like meet, meeting some of my uh, some of the people I've like. Um, well, basically Look the reasons to. the reasons that I've actually uh, got into the music. Um, so meeting you and Ewan, meeting the ghost and stuff like that. They were honestly meet, meeting them for the first time was was. Uh, I'm not really cool with um, people I like, find like like amazing, but just being backstage with them. Talking to him, like it was good, like a, an uplift. It was an uplift, yeah. Yeah, man. They're just people like us. Sometimes it's easy to kind of think these people are on different tracks, there, but yeah. And in 2022, what you do differently? Uh, well, I'm gonna let people come to me first instead of going to people because um, because I need to be more prolific and productive. And apart from that, I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing and um, make sure everyone, everyone enjoys themselves. And that's it. Big gents. Thank you for that. Thank you. Social media, the, is it the big gents now or just Jensen? Uh, Jensen, yeah. Jensen, Jensen with the underscores. Yeah. Play yeah. well, you know, man. We'll get back to the party. I don't know, it's tough to pick one. 
Um, I think hide and seek is probably a standout if I was going to pick one. Uh, that main stage was insane, quite insane. Now he's putting my head out to Garden yeah. Seek as well. He's a pretty good And 2022, what are you do different next year? Um, I think well, I think we've had a really more good. More of the same. Yeah, but I think more of the same. We had a really good uh, 2021. Um, got some good emotion going. So people are booking us now. So I say just keep it going. Hopefully it'll take us where I want to go. But that's the thing. Just keep keep us keep doing what we're doing basically. Yeah. And biggest awesome. lesson of 2021. Go and go out every weekend. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Uh, yeah. I learned that. Yeah. I've learned that, but don't always implement it. But I've yeah. learned that. Go out to the gigs you've been booked for, but don't go out to the pointless bars. I think, I think the yeah. caption that Bakes likes to use is "pick your battles." Pick your battles, yeah. And how many beers drank you drank between you over this Christmas? Christmas oh, period? I mean, I, I lost. I don't even want to say it on camera because I'm ashamed. Too many. Yeah, too many. It's um, been yeah. one big do. One big blur, basically. Yeah. yeah. It's been one big <laughs> It's been good though, we've enjoyed we're it. Full of but we're ready for January, a bit of uh, time off and just uh, get back in the studio and yeah, get some tunes ready for next, for this, next year. Yeah. And a scale of 1 to 10, how hard are you sending it today? Um, well, yeah, I'd say... Are you going in? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going in. You're not ripping it yet? Yeah, fuck it, I'm not ripped it yet, I'm going to rip no, it. No, but are you ripping it tonight? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we've got the tequila lemonade, so... I've just covered it with this COVID. Uh, yeah. COVID food poison a lot, mate. Probably got the plague next. Yeah. yeah. You never have it easy, do you, mate? Never, ever, ever. But it's the fucking never warriors easy. that come through. My favourite quote at the moment is, it's better to be a warrior in a garden than a gardener in a war. Oh, oh, oh. Good that, innit? Yeah, yeah, so become powerful and learn to tame it. Learn to tame it. People in this world say, don't do this, don't do that, don't be a monster. Become a monster, then just tame it. Mm. Don't so be basically, fucking tame we, we, need fucking to, yeah, we, we need to tame it, basically. Basically, these are monsters to tame. Yeah. But not in the garden, they're monsters in war. Yeah, exactly, yeah. In war all the time, basically. Right, so on that, any more shout outs, any, uh, any else to add? Um, do you know what, a big shout out has got to go to the Appetite Labs from last week. We, we played uh, in London for Appetite on, um, on Monday. We played at our main party for a couple of hours and played at the Afterpy with Julian Anthony for, um, for a couple of hours as well. And honestly, it was, it was unreal. Um, it beat me. I always thought it was going to be good, but getting them playing, it was, it was unreal. The Afterpy especially with Julian was, um, was, was unreal. So shout out to Julian. <laughs> Well, Shout out to all the birds he's been meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Call me your dad. <laughs> <laughs>